I'm often asked what makes OmniFocus unique. This is the fourth in a 10-part video series that highlights features that set OmniFocus apart from other task managers. In this video, we'll look at OmniFocus's support for date fields. On the surface, that might not seem too exciting. However, as we delve deeper, you'll see the significant impact this can have. Many task managers only have one date field. This field is typically used to specify the day you want to work on something and also the day that is due. The issue is that not all tasks have a due date. In other words, for some tasks, there may not be any significant consequence if you don't do them by a specific date. Additionally, there may be tasks you can't take action on until a specific date. For example, if the concert tickets don't go on sale until March 1st, seeing a task to buy concert tickets before March 1st is a distraction when you're getting down to work. Another scenario is that an action is available to work on Friday, but you don't plan to do it until Monday. It's helpful to be able to identify when something becomes actionable and when you plan to take action. This is why OmniFocus has three date fields. Use the defer field to specify when an action becomes available, the plan field to specify when you plan to take action, and the do field to track by when you need to have the action completed. In some cases, you may not need any date fields. In other instances, you may use one, two, or all three. You're not limited to dates. For all three of these fields, you can specify a specific time. For example, an action may become available today at 9 a.m. and be due tomorrow at 5 p.m. And you may plan to work on it this afternoon at 1 p.m. This level of granularity can be very helpful and is supported by OmniFocus. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's say I promised to call my friend John about going hiking on Sunday. I said I'd contact him mid to late week and see what the weather forecast looks like. I'll create an action to contact John about hiking on Sunday in my fun and recreation single action list. Since this is a phone call, I'll tag it with phone. I'll defer this action until Wednesday, as that's the earliest I would contact John. I have quite a bit going on Wednesday and a full day of work on Thursday, so I'll set the plan field to Thursday at 6 p.m., with the intention of calling John after work that day. I promised John I'd contact him by mid to late week, so I'll make this due Friday at 7 p.m. You may have actions in OmniFocus that can be completed today and don't have to be done by a specific date. These actions can sometimes linger for months or even years. If they've earned a spot in OmniFocus, they have some level of importance. Plan dates enable you to be intentional about completing these important yet non-urgent tasks. For example, let's say you have an action to set up the digital photo frame you bought for Grandma Ellie. There's no specific date associated with this action, but completing this task will mean that Grandma can enjoy all the photos you take on your travels, so there is a significant benefit. Let's say I'm planning to visit Grandma Ellie on Saturday afternoon. I'll set the plan field to Saturday at 12 p.m. Since this is an action that needs to be taken when I'm physically at Grandma's home, I'll assign a tag of Shea Grandma Ellie. I could even associate this action with the location of Grandma's home and be notified when I arrive. As we'll see in a future video, these date fields are beneficial when creating custom perspectives. For example, I'll demo the on-deck perspective, which utilizes the defer, plan, do, and flag fields to automatically generate an action list. For now, let's look at the built-in forecast perspective. The forecast perspective can be used to see your calendar alongside projects, action groups, and actions that have one or more of these dates. By default, the forecast perspective shows items with due dates. If you click View in the toolbar, you'll see options to show items on their planned and deferred dates. With the plan date turned on, you can look into the future and ensure you're not over committing for a given day. Similarly, you can use the defer date to see what's going to become available in the future, so you can plan accordingly. The forecast perspective works essentially the same on the iPhone and iPad. Let's look at it on the iPad. I'll tap View and enable items on the plan date and defer date. I can then tap on future dates and see these items alongside due dates in the calendar. 
In the following video, we'll explore estimated durations and why it's worth the effort to estimate how long your actions will take. Visit LearnOmniFocus.com to discover how to make the most of OmniFocus and complementary productivity apps, and to access free content and resources. Join Learn OmniFocus to get access to an extensive library, and to participate in interactive live sessions with OmniFocus users from around the world. This is Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus. Thanks for watching.